Did a 19th century scientist create life? 1836, Somerset, UK. Andrew Cross, amateur scientist, is on day 26 of an electro-crystallisation experiment. An insect materialises from thin air. He has unexpectedly created life. In the following weeks, hundreds more appear. Word gets out. Cross is accused of blasphemy. Death threats roll in. Other scientists, including Michael Faraday, repeat the experiment and get the same results. Life. Fearing for his own life, Cross discontinues his unholy experiments and the episode becomes the basis for Mary Shelley's novel, Frankenstein. But is any of it true? Cross himself never claimed to have created life. He assumed that the insects came from eggs that had contaminated his instruments and samples. Michael Faraday never attempted to replicate the experiment. Although Mary Shelley knew Cross, she published Frankenstein 20 years before the experiment even occurred. Did a gentleman scientist become God, or was it dirty lab equipment? Whatever you decide, consider subscribing for a debunked mystery every week.